Now, as governments around the world battle to find effective treatments and cures and also try to spread, uh, curb the spread of COVID-19, sales of face masks and hand sanitizing gels have increased very sharply. But just how efficient are these gels when you compare them to good old-fashioned soap and water? Well, France 24's health reporter Julia Seeger tells us more. Hand sanitizer is nothing new. It was actually patented in 1966 by a Californian medical student, and it's only in 2009 when the N1H1 swine flu pandemic hit that people started carrying it around with them on a daily basis. So how efficient is it? Well, first of all, uh, if you wanna know if the hand sanitizer you're using in particular is efficient against COVID-19, you need to take a look at the concentration of alcohol and it needs to reach at least 60%. You also need to take a look and make sure that it is efficient against the specific bacteria or virus you're trying to protect yourself from and that's usually written on the bottle. Scientists have found that hand sanitizer is not more efficient than good old soap and water, quite the opposite. Hand sanitizer doesn't get rid of really small particles, dirt particles that are, are on your hands. And if you're then in contact with a virus, then that's actually gonna be a good environment for it to survive. Because of the alcohol that it contains, it can also be very irritating to people's skin, especially if you're suffering from eczema, for instance. It's also important to say that if you use it too much, it can affect your dermal protection that protects you on a daily basis of other pathogens. Last but not least, for decades, hand sanitizer was actually made with a powerful um, uh, antibacterial agent called triclosan, which later scientists discovered that it was detrimental to people's indoctrin system. So the main advice is if you don't have access to anything else, of course you can use hand sanitizer, but if you can, it's better to just wash your hands with water and soap. France 24's health reporter Julius Seeger there. Now, since the 